hi guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm back again with another video i know it's been a while since i posted but i'm back now with another story time for you all and now i'm going to be explaining my labor and delivery story to you all okay just in case it's some people out there who's going through what i went through this video is for you and for everybody else all right let's get into the video I was like, I think 38 weeks when I had my baby. And I tell y'all, I already knew my baby was not coming. Like, meaning she did not want to come out. Like, if I could have went past 40 weeks, I feel like I was going to because she was just in there, just so calm and just in there. <laughs> like, Every doctor's appointment that I went to when they went to go check down there to see how many centimeters I was dilated, they was always like, oh, you're only one centimeter, you're one centimeter. And I'm like, like, really, baby? Yeah. So every appointment they checked, I was only one centimeter. And my delivery, my due date was right around the corner. So... My normal doctor's appointment, you know, how that goes. They check your blood pressure or whatever. They check to see if everything is going good. Your blood pressure, your weight, all that. They check the baby and blah, blah, blah. So, my blood pressure was kind of high every time I went to my appointments. My blood pressure was kind of high in their range. It was high, like mm, 141, like stuff like that. So, the doctor was kind of like worried. He was like, well, because this can be a sign of hypertension and all this extra stuff, blah, blah, blah. So, they ran those, they did those tests for me. And then I basically had to pee in some big container for like a whole day, I think it was. Like a big old container. And pee in it and give it to the doctor so they could test the pee or whatever to see if there was any like to see if something was high in my pee i don't know the word right now but to check to see if something was high in my pee okay so yeah and then everything had looked normal but still the doctor was like you know it can lead to hypertension and all this long-term problems so we're gonna schedule you for induction or to get induced and I'm like what is that Google always have their own little thing going on make you feel like you dying or make you feel like the doctor's gonna kill you and stuff so I was like Phew. but I'm like I just know well what I read off Google is basically they gonna go in there pop my water and da da da, da. and that was not the case like that was not even true so wherever i was reading that from it just had me kind of spooked but that's not the way that it went okay so they scheduled me a date they scheduled me on the 25th to go in my normal due date was on the 28th like i said before they scheduled me to come in on the 25th and honestly i was like what's the difference like if my due date is like three days from now why can't we just wait but i'm like you know what i'm gonna listen to the doctor i'm not a doctor so i'm gonna just listen to what the doctor has to say and that's it for the protection of me and my baby i was like okay fine so they scheduled me on the 25th and I went in on the 25th and did all the paperwork and I got in my room or whatever. And then they connected me to some IVs and stuff and they gave me a gown or whatever. And I don't know why guys, but I thought I was <laughs> going to be pushing out my baby that same day. I don't know why. Like I said, I was researching and my research was like you know you're gonna have the baby like a couple hours but i guess everybody's different it just depends on your body and i'm assuming because i was only one centimeter dilated the day before that's why she didn't come that day okay so it was a process and it took a while okay so basically they connected me to a whole bunch of ivs ivs in my hand and stuff 
and then they gave me a whole bunch of medicines like when i say a, like i don't even know how much to be honest so the lady said it was basically something to induce my labor so it was like a couple hours after that i i'm not sure how long i went 3 p.m in the afternoon i know it was nighttime. it was late night and then i was just standing up and whatever and i just started to have some contractions going on and i'm like oof oof is this contractions because y'all know that was my first time okay being pregnant so i did not know what contractions felt like and none of that okay i think i have braxton hicks contractions before but those actually were kind of painful for me but not nothing that i can't bear so i just started feeling some cramping in my stomach y'all know how i feel when y'all gotta do the number two and y'all like a little constipated <laughs> that's how i felt like that's what contractions felt like to me so i was just breathing through it and i had like my little um timer because it's when you're having contractions it's like every two minutes or every one minute or whatever so i was timing it and i think mine was like every minute so i was already prepared for the next minute i was like <sighs> i was just breathing it out okay like a, like a g i was ready y'all when i tell y'all i've been ready because I feel like I'm a person who can take pain. I feel like those contractions, they wasn't bad. Like the way people explain contractions, they make it seem like you're going to be dying. But you know, everybody's body's different. So I can't say to you exactly how you're going to feel if you're pregnant and you're going through your contractions. I won't be able to tell you. But from my experience, I was able to breathe through it. I breathe my slow, you know, just doing what I had to do to just get over it so after a while they stopped and then now oh they actually have balls in the room like the exercise balls and stuff like that so i was actually bouncing on it because i've seen a lot of videos where people are bouncing on a ball so it can help relieve whatever pain or whatever they're going through or help um through the contractions so my sister was in the room and my baby father he was in the room but he was sleeping so I was just getting through it. I think my sister was sleeping too, honestly. So I was just in there like, oh, they didn't hear me. So I'm assuming that I was quiet. I got up and then boom, I feel some liquid coming down my legs. I'm like, so I told my sister, I said, um, I think I'm peeing on myself. <laughs> And she was like, girl, if you don't sit your butt down, I know something. Like, my sister, she was just not playing with me. She was like, you better sit down before you mess up something or something. You better lay down. So, I called the nurse on the little phone. And I'm like, um, hello, ma'am. Excuse me. I think my water broke. So, <laughs> here comes the nurse in the room. And then I get, they took, like, some paper like y'all know the old paper that you dip in the water and it change colors so i guess they have that to see if your water breaks or whatever or if your water have broke or that's just whatever so she put it on the little liquid or whatever the fluid and then she's like yep your water broke so i'm like yeah. i don't know but i was so happy i don't know why like i said i thought i was gonna give birth i thought i was going to give birth Right in there, I'm thinking your water break. You know, that's how people make it seem. Like, you having contractions, then you go to the hospital, then your water breaks, and then you pushing out the baby. Biggest lie ever. Okay? That's not how it works. What matters is how many centimeters dilated you are. Okay? And if you're one centimeter, you ain't going, you ain't having no baby no time soon. Okay? And that's where I was. And now I know. So you have to be 10 centimeters dilated, okay? So you go from hoop to hoop, like a hoop, that baby head ready to come out, okay? And I was in there. Yeah, I'm finna get birth, da 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 da. Nope. Boom. Fell asleep. Wake up the next morning. The doctor, she kept coming in. The nurse kept coming in to check how many centimeters dilated I was. She was like, you're still at one, blah. I'm like, dang, like. How long I'm gonna be here? Finally, we had like three, and I'm like, yes, we got. 
this much more left. <laughs> to finally hit that 10, okay? I started having some more contractions, but these ones right here, oh man. I was in there like, yeah, I'm not getting no epidural. I'm finna have this baby natural, natural birth. You know, I, I don't know. I want to have a natural birth, of course, because I'm like, you know, I've seen a lot of people do it. You know, and I'm like, you could do it too. They say that when you get induced, those contractions are worse than normal contractions. But I'm not saying that to scare anybody. It's just a little more tense. Just a little more tense than normal. I was in there like, whew. Whew. <laughs> whew. Doctor. So, um, I guess the specialist came in. The person who does the epidural, she came in the room. And then she's like, um, do you want an epidural? I'm like, can you come back? Because, ma'am, I'm trying my best to go without it. So she's like, okay, just let me know if you want that. I'll come back in. But when you hit a certain centimeter dilated, they can't give you an epidural like anymore. That's what the lady told me. So I'm like, okay. Mine. just go anyway and I'm gonna call you if I want the epidural so I'm sitting there trying to breathe through it my mom in the room and I'm like Whew. she's like don't do it don't get no epidural <laughs> yeah I know where everybody always say when you get an epidural it's gonna cause you to have lower back pain and da 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 so that's what had me like kind of spooked too everybody you have to go through your own stuff to no, because you can't listen to everybody's story because you won't know because everybody's different okay so you just got to go through your own experience don't listen to nobody don't let nobody scare you into doing anything okay these whew, these ones right here i was like mm -mm, nah. i can't do it no more ma i can't do it and she's like oh don't you let them be with them. Shut up. Because <laughs> only I know how I feel in the moment, okay? And I swear, if I ain't get that epidural, oh my God, Lord knows. I would have been in that hospital bed. All right? So I'm like, come on, lady. Come give me this epidural. Epidural process, um, basically, what they did with me, they had a nurse in the front and the specialist in the back of me. So she's holding me like this. I get you have to keep your head down you just can't move so she's making she's holding me making sure that I don't move and then they stick like a needle or something in your spine and then I was telling the lady I'm like cuz I'm gonna talk if something feel wrong so my right leg was tingling I'm like excuse me miss is my right leg supposed to be tingling like that she was like oh I'm just gonna move it over a little bit to the left so boom it fixed everything was feeling good so she whatever i don't know what she did if she put something in there to leave it in there or just put a needle i don't know okay so a couple minutes she said it's gonna take a couple of minutes for me to start feeling that i have an epidural or my body my lower body to start feeling numb so i'm like okay boom they put me to lay down i'm like whew. <laughs> I can't lift my legs when I tell y'all numb. Like, my lower body felt so heavy. My legs felt so heavy and like swollen. I felt like I was like, boom, this big down there. I don't know, but I couldn't feel nothing. My sister, she was tickling my feet. I couldn't feel it. I could not feel nothing down there, okay? So I was just laying down, chilling. Boom. Like, Oof, I feel like I gotta do number two doctor but I'm like how am I gonna get up because I can't feel my legs so she's like oh well it's probably just baby I'm like what what I was so like really baby nurse came back in and then she checked she stuck her fingers up there and she's like yep I feel the baby head <laughs> y'all that's when everything started just being like coming to reality. I started coming to reality. I'm like, yo, you're really about to have a baby. Like, you're really about to push a baby out. 
yes okay i was so ready but in my head i'm like i don't know how i'm gonna do this but i'm gonna do it i don't know they don't give me no ham book on no you want that baby coming you gonna push that baby out and that's it that's it okay so i was ready so boom everything just started all the nurses coming in everybody like back up back up y'all gotta put on this and that i'm like oh my god <laughs> it was overwhelming okay but i was i was nervous i'm not even gonna lie of course i'm nervous because i don't know how i'm gonna feel but I'm like, of course, I'm probably not gonna feel anything down there, obviously, because of the epidural. So, whatever. They put one leg up, like, boom, and then the other leg up, boom, on the bed. They had to lift my legs up because I couldn't do it all. So, okay, because my leg was too heavy. So, they put my leg up, leg up, whatever. And then here comes the doctor, and he's like, You ready? I'm like, <laughs> I ain't got no choice, doctor. We yeah, are 10 centimeters, okay? But I'm ready. Alright, so he's just like, he sits in front of me. He's just like, well. And then he put something down there. I don't know what that is that they put down there. They put something down there, I guess. To help from some, I'm a, obviously, they put that down there for some reason. Some liquid or something down there. So I'm like, okay, he like, when you ready, push. So the lady, she's telling me push like this. You can't breathe if you push on like that, right? So I'm like, they was telling me, go like that. Hold this attempt. So they're like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I breathe. Whew. They give me a couple of seconds. Go again. You just keep pushing. So I'm like, whew. Y'all, it's getting hot in here. I got my mama on this side. My baby father on this side. My brother in the back of me, and then my sister over there recording in the front of me. They say you can't record, but who you are to tell me I can't record, or us we can't record when my baby come out? You must be crazy. So my brother holding my back up, cause I, when I tell you I just felt so like heavy. My brother was pushing my back up for me. My mama was holding my leg, like giving me. My baby daddy was holding me over here. And y'all, it was teamwork. Teamwork. Shout out to y'all. <laughs> Cause if it wasn't for them, I don't know how I was gonna do it. For real. Cause I really needed that support, especially that back support to hold me up like that. Oh my god. So I'm just like, I can't breathe. So my sister, here come my sister. She like, Tamara, don't be dumb. And you listening to that? Over there telling you breathe wrong that's not how you breathe so i'm like oh you're right but they gave me so much medication and stuff that i was just like <laughs> i don't know like oh my god sister like you need to push properly <gasps> you feeling like you about to poop i'm like you go girl so i'm just pushing my wife said get it out all right so i'm just pushing pushing how many times did i push less than 10 times Honestly, I think it was not a long, I was not pushed for a long time at all. Okay, and then my mom was fanning me because it started getting hot. She was fanning me over here, and everybody just like, You got it, you got it, you got it. My brother back there gave me motivation, like, Sis, come on, sis. My sister, like, Oh, I see the head, I see the head. Oh my god, y'all, y'all know what got me. She was like, We see the hair. Everybody was like, oh my god, we sit here. So I guess everybody looking like, oh, my, mom, my mama didn't look. My mama, she's just too sensitive with all that blood. She did not look. Okay, she was over my leg over there like a G. Everybody was just looking like, oh, we see the hair, we see the hair. And the hair, I'm like, oh, my baby. Anyways, anyways, guys, that's another story, okay? I heard that they seen her head. I'm like, oh, man. So he's like, you have to push to there. It's like her head got stuck. Her head was like this. The whole her head was like this. Okay? I seen the picture in the videos. Her head was just like right there, sitting there like that. So I'm like, dang. If he would have left it or let me push, I probably would have had like a third degree tear or something down there. So he did what he had to do. Shout out to you, to my doctor. Shout out to you. Okay? And he just, he cut my thing that split your 
cuckoo la la from your butts. Okay, that little sentimental that you no, and then she just slid out. Y'all, I didn't feel no pain, okay? I didn't feel no pain, but I definitely felt when she dropped out. It just felt like something dropped out my stomach, literally. It didn't hurt. It just felt like a relief, like, whoo! I felt like a whoo! And I was like, whoo! I dropped like, whoo! I don't know. Y'all, that was, and then boom, all I hear is, I was like, uh uh. Doctor, he had to be here on my chest, man. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna insert some pictures for you guys. I don't know. I might and I might not, okay? But they put her on my chest and I just felt warm, like warm feeling, should I say. And I was just, I just cried. Y'all know, I cried because mamas, we are something special, okay? And don't let nobody tell you that you is not special. That you are not special because we are amazing, okay? Half the stuff that we could do, I don't even need to say it. You already know what I mean. Okay, so shout out to all the moms out there, okay? You're a G. Straight like that. You're amazing. Straight like that. Body is amazing. Straight like that. Wow. Like, I was more crying in the sense of, wow, like, I really have my baby right here right now. Like, you know, anything could have happened. But I was able to hold my baby, my child that I've been carrying for a whole nine months. And it was just so amazing, guys. Like, when I tell you it was an amazing feeling, it was amazing. And every little thing... That one little contraction pain or that one little thing that you felt during, you know, labor or why you, you know, you just want through your contraction and this and that. The nine months right in that moment when you push that baby out and you get to hold your baby, that's the best thing ever. You don't even think, oh, I just went through that. Everything just revolves around your baby. From that moment, everything that matters is your baby that you're holding. All that pain and stuff that you went through, you're not gonna sit there and be like, oh, I did. Nope, it's over. <laughs> it lasts that little while until it's over, okay? And I don't know, it was worth it, you know? It was very worth it to me. And it was an experience, okay? It was an experience, but it was amazing. I held her and I actually never thought about breastfeeding or bottle feeding i don't know i never really thought about bottle feeding like i wasn't really i don't know i pushed her out and then boom she was like are you gonna breastfeed the nurse said, are you gonna breastfeed i'm like yeah just show me how to and i'll do it and then bloop bloop put that milk in that baby mouth and then boom that was it all right so yeah but it was amazing okay guys it was worth it but Give this video a thumbs up if you like this, okay? I'm going to try to do more story times for y'all. So y'all let me know down below what other story times y'all would like to see me. Y'all would like to hear and see me talk about, okay? Part of recovery. And you know, after I got cut down there, how did I handle with all of that, okay? So if you would like to see that, leave a comment down below for me, okay? And leave a thumbs up if you would like to see that video also. But thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. If you loved it, give it a thumbs up, okay? And comment down below what other videos you would like to see me post on my channel. And make sure you turn on your post notification bell to get notified every time I post a video. And subscribe to my channel. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel. Okay, show some love and I'll show love back. Peace.